to say something? Yeah. I have been yeah. here for 13 years. I have uh, served in Faulkner County as the uh, Faulkner County Tea Party President. I've seen many of these gatherings. The words have been the same. Liberty, freedom, accountability. God has given us these rights, not government. The same words, different events. The question becomes for everybody here, is when will we consistently live out freedom, yes. liberty, yes. holding people accountable? Because the fact of the matter is, that bill should never have been filed. Right. Yes. It shouldn't even be here. So this is another reminder that this nation that has been given to us it's our responsibility. And if we're here again for something else next year, we can't look to these men and women. We have to look to ourselves and ask ourselves why. And so that is my prayer for everybody here. Regardless of your political affiliation, regardless of where you live in Arkansas, regardless of what you believe and who you pray to, we are Arkansans, and we are Americans. We are Arkansans, and we are Americans, regardless of how you vote. Regardless of the man or woman that you voted for in office, we are in this together. Right. Yes. And so we have to have the courage to love one another. We have to have the courage to hold one another accountable. And we have to have the courage to speak up when we see tyranny rising up. Yes. So let's pray. Father, we thank you for this opportunity to gather. Father, I thank you for the opportunity to gather in a nation where we can stand here freely and we can take our grievances to our government. I thank you, God, for these men and women who are behind me. And I would ask, God, that you continue to grant them wisdom yes. and courage, and above all, to rem remind them, Lord, that they are servants to these people that are gathered here, that are men and women and children in the state of Arkansas. And we pray, God, for our Governor Asa Hutchinson, Lieutenant Governor Tim Griffin, all the other legislators in the House and the Senate, and God, we ask, as what is even putting these walls up on the Capitol, that there would be peace. That there would be peace. And so, as we leave here, let us not forget the words that have been spoken, but let us walk in your spirit and in your love and do things that bring glory and honor to your name. Yes. And honor the men, women, and children of this state. And it's in Christ's mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 for us and legislators, let's give the people a round of applause because they're supporting us in this. Thank you. Remember, post, I read all your, most all your Facebook page posts. Please be courteous. Please be respectful. We are honoring God. In the things that amen. God amen. Amen. So please be cautious in what, what you post and respectful people. We love you. We felt your love from us. Uh, thank you very much. Remember the prayer. Back behind the Capitol is our new monument for the Ten Commandments. Before you leave, just take a minute to go back there and say a prayer for our state, for our nation, for our leaders. God bless. Thank you for coming. Thank you. I'm not a scheduled speaker, and they're not responsible for what I say, but I think they'll appreciate what I have to say. If you'll give me just a minute. I never thought I'd be standing on the steps of the Arkansas Capitol building 